Every year, society tells us just for one day, quit being an asshole and be good to your girl. Get creative. Do something special for her. Do something that that makes her feel great about herself, about her day, and about the relationship she has with you. For men who treat their women the way they should be treated, they should be every day. But for the rest of us, we need a single day for the calendar to tell us, be extra nice to your girl. And every year it comes up and you think to yourself, do I get candy? Do I get chocolate? Do I get a bear? Do I take her to dinner? What do I do? What can you, what can you do that, will, that, that can satisfy a woman's desire to be taken care of and wooed on Valentine's Day? Most guys feel like, well, the more expensive it is, the better. Some guys think that just if I put in some effort, then at least she'll appreciate that, you know, I tried, right? Here's the thing, we, we, we think this way because we're not very creative and we're not creative because we don't know which way to point our creativity. If you wanna know what a woman wants for Valentine's Day, you have to take a look at, <clears throat> you have to take a look at what's important to her. And what's important to a woman is the same for every woman. So if you wanna know what to get her for Valentine's Day, it's the same across the board. And what a woman wants for Valentine's Day is a story to make her girlfriends jealous. That's it. She wants a story where she can be like, you would never, go, you would never believe what this guy did for, you, for me. You will never believe what my man did for me. You won't believe what I got to tell you next. That's what they want, no matter what it is. So when you're trying to come up with something creative, don't just make it some thing, right? Because that those are just things. Anyone can supply things. But what makes her Valentine's Day extraordinary is that she has a story that no one else can tell. So you want to know what? If she likes flowers, get flowers. If she likes candy, get candy. And if she likes going out to dinner, take her to her favorite restaurant or take her to the restaurant that you know, she's been bugging to go, you know, she's been dying to go to. But the thing is, is you've got to put it in a creative way that makes her remember it. Because after the chocolates are gone, after, after the bear has been thrown away or, you know, infested with bed bugs or whatever, and after the flowers die, all that's left is the story. All that's left is the experience. And the next day, when she comes to... to to the to the lunch, you know, to you know, eating lunch with her girlfriends or having a drink or whatever, and everyone's talking about their what, how their Valentine's Day was. Her friends aren't going to ask to smell her flowers. Her friends aren't going to ask to squeeze her teddy bear, and her friends aren't going to ask for a piece of candy. What they're going to ask is what happened. And as long as she has a captivating story of which no other woman uh, has, not necessarily can compete with, but has something like that, then she will be happy. Then she will see you favorably in her eyes and then you can be seen as the man that always knows what to do when the pressure's on to create an amazing Valentine's Day.